Hey, before my video starts today, I want you to watch the whole thing. Not for any other reason than there's information that you need to know. I promise. Welcome back. Guy Walker here. Appreciate you stopping back in. Today, I have information in a tutorial combined. So we'll call it an infotorial. I made that up. In this infotorial, we're going to talk about the name of the strings first. Because I think when you first learn a guitar, that gets pushed aside a little bit. You're told the name of the strings, you see it on a diagram, but you don't burn it in. I want you to burn the name of the strings in. Okay. So the names of the strings, here we go. The sixth string is E. Let's say it again. The sixth string is E. The fifth string is A. The fifth string, A. The fourth string is D. Fourth string, D. The third string is G. Third string, G. The second string is B. Second string, B. The first string is E. First string, E. Now you probably already know this, but maybe you don't have it burnt in. I'm just telling this to the people that if I say what's the name of the third string, I want you to be able to say it. That's all this is about. This next part of the infotorial is an exercise, a stretching exercise. Nothing more, nothing less. It's got to do with the first, second, third, fourth finger, and the first, second, third, fourth fret. And this is how it goes. I'm going to say the name, and as I'm saying the name, you realize it's the first fret in the first finger and so on. So one, two, three, four. And we're gonna do that again. One, two, three, four. And down here I'm just all downstrokes. Just one, two, three, four. So what I want you to do is this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Next string. I'm going to slow this down in a bit. Right now I'm just going through it. Four, three, two, one. E string, three, two, one. E string, three, two, one. E string, three, two, one. G string, three, two, one. G string, three, two, one. D string, three, two, one. D string, three, two, one. A string, three. I'm showing you this is so you can sit there and go like this. Stretch. Hit all those notes. For the beginner, this is a little tough, but just tr do it. Try it. Slow it down. I'll go backwards, but I'll slow it down. That's enough slow. I'll speed it up a little bit. It gets a little boring. That's an exercise, that's a stretch exercise. And later on when you get that fluently, you go. So as much as that's a stretching exercise, it's also an exercise in getting to know the guitar. If you're a beginner, this is the first thing you're doing, then you're getting to know the guitar. You know that you're gonna hit a downstroke down here, and you're on the first fret, second fret, another downstroke, third fret, another downstroke, fourth fret, same thing. When you do that, when you go, as simple as that is, you're making a connection with the guitar. There's no better way to get started than to just feel like you're making a connection with the guitar. One more thing about 
the warm-up exercise, the stretching exercise. I was talking a lot. I'm just going to do each string real quick here so you can see how it goes without me talking. fast, do it as fast as you want, if it's in time. If you're going, that's not serving a purpose. Do it slow. All the way up, all the way down. Stay right there in the first four frets. The next thing I want to talk about is muting. I'm going to give you an example of muting just because I never really play for you. So I'm going to play a nice, simple example of muting. Muting. Now I realize that muting thing I just played is not for a beginner, not for anybody that doesn't know the bar chords I just played in that area. But that's okay, I don't want you to learn that. I just want you to feel how it feels to mute the neck and have it be percussive. And the one thing I also want you to know is everything you see me do is information down the road. If you don't use it now, it'll be here. Information down the road. Information is king. The more you know, the more you've seen somebody do something that you like, you'll learn it. You'll remember and you'll play it. All right. So that's Let's mute the neck. I'm going to come in for a second. We're just clamping the neck. The thumb is muting the E string along with everything else here is muting everything. And that's what we got. We got mute. So I'm going to back off. And this is all I want you to do. One, two, three, four. That's it. Just feel that. There's a beat there already. I know this is strange by itself, but once again, just try it. Just do it. Think of it as a beat, a kick drum. That's it. That's all I want you to do. And then, Later on, while my hand is clamping, I can do something with that, which I can do. That's pretty musical for a clamped hand, wouldn't you say? So as much as right. this infotorial was a strange one today, I promise you, if you keep all that in your brain, you will use it one day. You will use the fact that E, A, D, G, B, E, you will use that. That will come in handy for you to know those string names. If you need to warm up, you'll go. guarantee you will and I'll show you an advanced version of that later later on and muting why not you will use all that if there's anything you take away from my videos is it's all information that you will use one day I guarantee it so I'll see you next time thank you